Uh, junk foods, by my definition, are high in calories, they're highly processed, they're relatively nutritionally depleted. One of the games I love to play is to go into a supermarket I haven't been in before and count the number of places in the store where candy is sold. You would be amazed. Here's candy at the end of an aisle, that's prime real estate, and there's always candy at the cash register, which is super prime real estate because everybody sees it. But the real place where sugar is sold is in the soft drinks. Um, there's always an enormous aisle you can barely see to the end of it uh, that is selling soft drinks. But recently, um, last May, I was taken to a Vaughn supermarket in downtown LA in a largely Hispanic area. Um, and I was struck by the extraordinary number of places in the store where soft drinks were sold. There was an aisle of soft drinks that you see in the background and soft drinks at the end of an aisle. Aisle. There was a wall of soft drinks at the entrance to the store where you walk in. Uh, there were soft drinks at the end of another aisle. There were soft drinks at the end of another aisle. There was a, a soft drinks at the end of another aisle. There were soft drinks, well, Gatorade, still soft drinks. 20 um, ounce soft drink, the kind that is in vending machines. Um, those hold 275 calories. A rough rule of thumb is it takes a mile to work off 100 calories. Um, of either walking or running. And if that's the case, then that's two and three quarter miles of walking or running to work off the calories in one 20 ounce soda. You know, in a monster burger, which is 1,400 calories, uh, that's 14 miles of exercise. Physical activity isn't enough. It's not enough for most people.